Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And let's talk Pelican cases. Uh, Pelican is a brand name. Pelican is actually a U.S. company in Torrance, California um, that has been making just you know, world-class plastic storage containers, super tough, watertight, etc., um, since 1976. Um, and they're known for their, their you know, foam inserts. They're known for their valve that equalizes pressure um, if things... Uh, uh, elevations change, etc. Um, excellent, lots of colors, lots of sizes. You can customize them. Um, and one of the things they've been known for is um, being all made in America. Um, and I noticed the other day a uh, Pelican case, or actually it was um, a little bit different, but it was being marketed by Pelican. It wasn't a knockoff or anything. And I thought, well, I'd give those a try because I use a lot of Pelican cases for a lot of different things. Um, and then let's take a look at it. Um, by the way, the Pelican cases, um, what I, one of the things I like over some of the other similar cases is they usually have some sort of a release mechanism um, that because they're pressure fitted with an O-ring, um, kind of a gasket system, right around here, it's the, it's the force of this being pushed down or pulled or latched, um, that when it's latched down, that's when it's watertight and airtight. But in order to break those free, um, they've inserted some sort of a lever or release mechanism that helps um, pry that up so you don't break all your fingernails. Um, I noticed this one here and some others. Um, Right here, this is number five, PP or polypropylene. So yes, just like your long underwear. Um, if you wear polypropylene long underwear, that's the uh, same material. So it's got a unique feel. Um, they can be locked, super durable, um, enclosed hinges. If you notice right here, they have a kind of like a piano hinge only you know, small but multiple facets holding this in um, with strengthening ribs all over the place. Um, just wonderful cases. Um, and I thought fairly reasonably priced, um, you know, anywhere from, you know, 40 to 80 bucks for kind of the general size ones and about a hundred when you get up to the bigger cases. Um, but anyway, um, and I use the small ones too for a lot of water sports. I've pulled the, the stickers off of this one just so I could see better what's inside. But again, this is a Pelican case. Um, I like the clear ones because you can tell what's in there. Some people want to hide stuff, but anyway. Um, and this is a storm case. This is now, uh, um, this is one of the original ones um, by Hardig. And um, I think this was acquired by Pelican. So now these are marketed under Pelican, but I've used them forever. I mean, I've got great big, um, you know, big giant storage um Pelican cases on wheels. I mean, all kinds. But anyway, this is the one that I just picked up. It says Vault by Pelican. There's the V100 or their smaller case. Um, it's a little different design. They're using a push button here to help release, um, which basically is more of a lock mechanism. So this doesn't get opened unintentionally, but it's not necessarily sealing that tight. Um, it does have a release valve here, but it's not marketed quite the same. Um, pretty good as far. It does have exposed hinges here, um, which means that you might have to keep an eye on that. So that little metal thing, you know, if it starts to walk out, you can pound it back in and I can kind of see, um, you know, how much space is right there, you know, from the ends. Um, anyway, uh, this one, this particular one, um, this is their new vault line by Pelican. Um, and any time a comp company says buy, generally that tells me it's now made somewhere else. I wondered if it was overseas. I could not find um, anything on here as to where it was made. So I looked really close um, and then finally found it here. Um, made in Mexico is where this Pelican line is coming from, this vault. And then I also wanted to know what it was made of. Um, and I also noticed the foam is not pre-cut. Usually they have it squared out so you can literally rip it out. Um, and then when I dug down inside here, um, if you can see it, 
Um, it's going to be right down there. Um, it is HDPE or high density polyethylene. That's the same stuff as like milk cartons are made out of the plastic milk jugs. Um, and that's why it feels a little bit different. O-ring is design is a little bit different. It doesn't, it's got a, you know, a, an exposed spring here. Um, you can see those. I assume that that will hold up. It's a little different. There's a, you can scratch yourself on that little bit of spring there. I don't know if these are stainless. I hope they are so they don't rust in salt water. Um, I like the color of it. Um, and for most things, um, especially in overlanding where you're, uh, where it's mostly vehicle bound, um, it just looked like a good option. It wasn't that much cheaper though. This one, I think I paid like $39 or something like that for it. Um, instead of maybe 49 or 59 for similar full on USA made Pelican. Um, I also noticed that the handle is fixed, which is a, um, a space issue because most of the others, the other Pelicans, if you look, actually have a handle that, that moves out of the way so it becomes flush, which makes it easier to stack. Um, they did retain, they, this has stainless steel collars, much larger here, whereas this one, um, they're using more, whoops, stainless steel inserts. Um, if you want to drop a lock in, and that's required for a lot of things, um, is to be able to have a locking case. Um, I'm not sure what this orange is right here when I look closer at it. Um, I'm guessing maybe you can get inter interchangeable pieces here or something so you can use them as um, indicators of what's inside. Um, overall, it seems a pretty solid thing. Um, solid unit. This one looks like it was made 8-8 eight, eight of 20, so it's around, it's been around a little bit. This was kind of interesting. Um, because of the shape, um, they've just added a smaller piece of foam and glued it in. I've never seen Pelican do that, but it's a different design. Um, but anyway, it seems like a solid unit, Mexican made. Um, Pelican really tries to push their environmental awareness. They're, they're not, you know, because even though they are in the plastics, um, they're doing things uh, with, an, with an eye towards the environment, making sure that they don't um, unnecessarily pollute and that, you know, hopefully they recycle. But um, I don't know what goes on in Mexico. Um, and there are some color differences that I didn't see in U.S., uh, in the U.S. line. So I'm wondering if there's a, some chemicals or something they can use in Mexico they can't use here. I have no idea. Just a guess. I know that's the case with powder coating and painting. Um, that's why some, we can't do some kind of painting around and chroming, etc. But anyway, if you're interested in good solid cases, uh, if you don't mind the Mexican build, um, I, I would have no, no real concerns using this for almost everything compared to a full-on hard um, polypropylene Pelican case. Locks seem solid. I assume it's got a similar warranty. I I uh, saw there, uh, I haven't gotten used to this way of opening it. I'm not a fan of that, by the way, um, wherever I put that. Um, what's their, their warranty here? Um, one year limited warranty. Um, so if you uh, bust it in a year because of a defect or anything, they'll take care of you. I assume I've never had one go bad. I've lost a few, but I've never had one go bad. Um, but anyway, thought you might be interested in what's up with the uh, Pelican Vault. There it is. And with that, Doc out.